continuing with the Google search theme, I want to talk about special words within Google searches that will do very special things. The first one I want to talk about is a file type. If you go back and watch the video about default programs, I talked about how important the end of a file name is. These three or four letters that they make up what are called the file extension. And I specifically mentioned DOC, PPT, XLS. These uh, turn out to be indexed by Google and you can search for specific kinds of files. So if I go to Google and I tell Google that I want to find a PowerPoint file, an actual PowerPoint presentation, I can just search for file type PPT. And when I do that, Google says it has indexed 31 million PowerPoint presentations. So let's get a little more specific. Let's say I want a PowerPoint presentation that has the word Earth inside of it. That narrows it down to almost a quarter of a million, 216,000. And every one of these is an actual PowerPoint presentation. In fact, I'll download this one, open it up, and it's a full-blown PowerPoint presentation. Now, you might have to look at a few PowerPoints before you find a really good one, but this is an easy way to find content already created. Let's say that I want uh, a periodic table, but I want one I can edit. And a periodic table is really rows and columns. That's kind of like a spreadsheet. So I'm going to say file type XLS. That's the Excel file extension. And it finds a couple thousand of them. Notice they're all XLS files. And if I were to download this first one, here is an actual periodic table. And I can edit every cell, every number, letter, color, all of those things in this file. That's pretty cool. I'm not just saying that because I'm a chemist. Or what if I need a Word document that's the whole dictionary? I don't know really how to say it other than the whole dictionary. Now it finds uh, a whole number dictionary or the whole nine yards, but these are all Word documents. Google indexes all of these kinds of files. I've only talked about these three kinds of files. So there's a, a lot more that you can uh, look at. If you were to do something like learn to code in Java, I'd recommend finding Java files for games, say Tetris. Here's almost 2,000 versions of Tetris. You could look at those, your students could look at those to learn how to make their own Java version of Tetris.